Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Dr. Maureen McDonald, Director of Women's and Gender Studies. I'm glad to see you here today and to celebrate the feminist community here at Eastern. Tonight is a celebration that was several years in the making. This National Honor Society and Women's Studies began at Metropolitan State University of Denver. Tonight we join over 100 chapters of this organization which encourages diversity, egalitarianism, supportive academic environments, and community service. There are people here today who were present at my job interview at Eastern in 2005. Since that time, we've grown and now offer a major in women's and gender studies, remaining the only public university in Connecticut with that distinction. Our program has consistently been diverse in terms of race, sexuality, gender, ability, age, and other identities, a collective that informs our educational offerings and allows us to support the university as it considers social justice initiatives. Tonight, we have people here who, upon graduating, wondered why we didn't have a Toyota chapter, a question from our alumna, Allison Smith, that has finally been brought into fruition. Tonight's celebration results from that question, as well as from the work of Ms. Miranda Lau, the generosity of Dean Carmen Sid and Mr. Michael Stenko, the solidarity of the Women's and Gender Studies Advisory Board, including Dr. Allison Speicher, and from the support of the Alumni Office and Joseph McCann, who not only volunteered to be present here on a Friday night, but to bring swag for our alumni as well. So if you are an alum, please take a nice detour by that table to pick up the gifts from that office. As I was thinking about the debts of gratitude I owe here to those here in the room and to the elders and ancestors who made this gathering possible, I found myself returning to the words of one of the mothers of the civil rights movement, Ella Baker. Baker asks that we pay attention to the courage of young people who may bring us awareness of our own failures and our struggles for freedom. Baker calls us into action stating, we who believe in freedom cannot rest until it comes. I am sustained by our collective restlessness. I'm glad for the many ways that our experiences and spirits intersect and inform each other. Each person here has strengths, quirks, commitments, rage, joy, and love that informs the work that they do. And our world is better for their work and for them. So thank you for joining in tonight's celebration. I am Dr. Kim Ward. I am a professor of mathematics here at the university. I'm also the Math Foundations Program Coordinator. And I serve on the Women and Gender Study Advisory Board. I am glad to publicly recognize our recipients of the Dr. Marcia Gow McGowan Scholarship for Excellence in Women's and Gender Studies. Dr. McGowan was an English professor and the director of Women's and Gender Studies until her retirement in 2011. The scholarship in her name honors her legacy of more than 30 years of service to feminist efforts on campus. This competitive scholarship is available each semester to students majoring or minoring in our program. I'll begin with the names of our first ever honorees and end by announcing this year's winners. I ask that the award winners, I ask the award winners to walk to the front of the room as their names are called. Okay, so let's begin. We have up first, May Ernfeldt. Followed by Vivian Nguyen. Lisa Maria Guerra. Emma Costa. Ooh, wait that one. Allison Smith, Andrea Slater, Jordan Corey, <laughs> Natalie Craniti. And finally, this year's winner, Michaela Mowell. Please 
please join me in celebrating our McGowan Scholars. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, my name is Joe McGann, uh, Director of Institutional Advancement. I'm actually honored to have the chance to, uh, to talk a little bit about Ann Marie Orza, who would love to be here. Uh, she spends half the year down in Washington, D.C., usually comes up this way um, next month with her husband, Arnold. Um, I could actually, you know, it's not often that I can say that I, that I know a donor really well. I go way back with the Orzas, in fact, Arnold Orza was my professor uh, at UConn in English, going back to my freshman year. Uh, got to know Anne Marie many years later, but she's been a wonderful donor to this institution year in, year out. She's a, she's a five-figure donor. Um, we really appreciate her. She's a wonderful lady. And of course, uh, Dean Sid was just reminding me that she was one of the founding, um, she, she started the, the Women's Center along with, Anne Marie, uh, with uh, Marsha McGowan way back when. And, uh, this, the whole women's studies movement is, is very, very important to Anne Marie. So she would love to have been here. Um, I'm honored to hand out the, the Anne Marie uh, Orza Scholarship. Uh, in fact, Emma just came up a minute ago, but it goes to Emma Costa. <clears throat> I'm going to actually ask Maureen um, to speak to the next scholarship. Megan Kleska is another of our foundation endowed scholarships. Um, Maureen actually had Megan as a student, and I, I think I'm going to pass that, uh, those honors over to Maureen. Um, I had the good fortune of knowing Megan as a student in my intro to women's studies class during my first year, second year as a faculty member here. Um, and perhaps three weeks before she died, we were sitting in as Betty DeGeneres, was get, Alan's mom, um, was getting ready to talk, and she was so excited. She had just declared her social work major. She was a minor in her program, and she was just on the poise of figuring out what she wanted to do in the world and getting excited for that. Um, at her service, there was a bumper sticker that she had apparently had in her room um, as a teenager that declared her as destined to be an old woman with no regrets. And so her joy and her joy at being alive is something that um, was really nice to think about this week as we were preparing for today's celebration. I am glad to um, announce that this year's winner of the Megan L. Kleska Scholarship is Aubrey Curcio. President Terry, I have the honor of presenting to you, to our community, and to our faculty of the 2019 candidates for membership of the Epsilon Gamma Chapter of Triota. Thank you, Vice President Graveline. Um, Officer Prentice, please read the names of the candidates. And candidates, please rise as your name is called and remain standing. Um, Deanna Santiago Augustine, Kate B. Bagin, Precious Baker, Nazme Batista, Caitlin Canapino, Abigail Bell, Starshimar Byram, Emma Costa, Megan Clow, Jordan Corey, Heather Seer, Mia DeAmarco, Taylor Daniel Shaw, Kate, Catherine De Antonio, Christine Gernox, Paige Graveline, Vanessa Hill, Lindsay Hopkins, Nan King, Morgan Laflamme, Sean McCabe, Jessica McClon, Sarah Macalis, Jenna Mushin. Stephanie Knowlton, 
Vivian Wen, Julie Plant, Brianna Prentice, Sean Richman, Isaiah Robbie, Rachel Sawyer, Andrea Slater, Allison Smith, Rachel Takush, Adrian Terenzi, Adriana, I'm sorry, um, Allison Smith, Sarah Terry, Valerie Vance, Laura Walls, and Christina Zorsi. Inductees, you are invited to join us in IOTA, 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 the National Honor Society and Women and Gender Studies. We ask that you contribute to IOTA's mission to maintain feminist values that are intersectional and which encourage diversity, egalitarianism, and support academic environments for all students. Membership in IOTA is an outward and outward recognition of personal and academic accomplishments. Each of you has been recommended as a person of superior scholarship with enthusiasm for feminist studies and therefore worthy of this honor. Being a member of Triota as a whole requires that you continue these efforts and prepare yourselves to take the insights you have found here into your communities, sharing with others the joy and appreciation that you have in your discipline. My friends, are you ready to take upon yourselves the obligations of membership in the Triota Society and its local chapter? If so, answer, we are ready to become members of Triota. We are ready to become members of Triota. Triota is honored to recognize you as esteemed members. We present to you outward signs of your induction your membership certificate, and pin and cord to wear with your regalia at commencement. Please step forward now as your name is called and receive these symbols of your membership. Um, she's not here, uh, Precious Baker. Kate Begin. <laughs> Abigail Bell. Please swing by the table after to pick up your alumni gifts and also your plant as well. All right, Caitlin Canapino. Megan Clow. Jordan Corey. <laughs> Emma Costa. <laughs> Natalie Craniti. Aubrey Curcio. <laughs> Heather Sear. <laughs> Mia D'Amico. <laughs> Taylor Danielchuk. <laughs> Catherine D'Antonio. Kristen Jernix. <laughs> Vanessa Hill. <laughs> and then King, who is not with us tonight either, Morgan Laflamme. <laughs> Sean. 
Sean McCabe. Jenna Mushin. <laughs> Stephanie Nolting. <laughs> Vivian Nguyen. <laughs> Julie Plant. <laughs> Sean Richmond. Rachel Sawyer. <laughs> Andrea Slater. <laughs> Allison Smith. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel Takash. Woo. Hi, Rachel. Adriana Terenzi. Valerie Vance. <laughs> Laura Walls. <laughs> Christina Zorzi. <laughs> Inductees, I now declare you to be members in full standing of the Epsilon Gamma Tri Chapter of Triota. We welcome you to the society and congratulations. <laughs> now we have um, Dr. Michelle Bashal coming up to give an announcement. Good evening. So my name is Dr. Michel Bashal. I'm a professor of French studies and the most recent recipient of the Distinguished Professor Award. And I'm on the Women's and Gender Studies Advisory Board. This year, the Advisory Board selected the Honor Marshal for our graduating cohort. It is a distinction to be selected as the commencement marshal and to help lead the procession during the graduation ceremony. I'm glad to announce the honors marshal and her alternate. I'll begin by introducing our alternate who impressed Dr. Speicher with her intellectual curiosity, sharp, and sharp analytical skills, and willingness to pose difficult questions. She routinely brought her gender studies training to bear, in turn challenging her classmates to think more deeply about race, class, gender, and sexuality. She stands up for her ideas and her principles while creating space for her classmates to do the same. Please join me in recognizing Jordan Corey, our alternate commencement marshal. For our honor marshal, I was very happy to see that the women, um, women studies Women's and Gender Studies Advisory Board selected a student that I highly recommended in recognition for her hard work, her unabated enthusiasm, her intellectual growth, and in tribute to her victories during her time at Eastern. Her internships and stellar academic work are both pra praiseworthy achievements. Please join me in recognizing Brianna Prentice as this year's Toyota Commencement Marshal. Brianna and Jordan, please stand. And now I think that Dr. McDonald will come back to the podium. Thank you all again for gathering tonight and for helping celebrate these fine people who are with us. I want to again thank the many people who made today's event possible, including Dean Carmen Sid, who's up in the front row, Ms. Miranda Lau, who makes my work day better every day by her intelligence and her capable managing of some um, particular personalities, myself included. Um, I'm so glad that you're here, and I'm so glad that you showed up um, to pay tribute to this, this group of students and alums. If you are a someone who is recognized tonight, I'm going to ask that before you join your well-wishers that you join me up near the banner so that we can take some official pictures. The banner is going to stay up through tonight's event so that you are welcome to continue taking pictures with that throughout the evening. Um, 
Thank you in advance for, um, for enjoying the good company that assembled here, and thank you for being here tonight.